Gamers on Games is sponsored in part by Hey viewers, Dave here for Snappy Turtle Comics and Gallery. Snappy Turtle Gallery is your go-to destination for geeky, nerdy prints, and each is just $5. With over 600 prints and growing, you're sure to find something you'll love. Go to SnappyTurtleGallery.com today and get yours. I'm Lynn from Metalhead Minis. Great to meet you. Uh, be sure to check us out online at MetalheadMinis.com. You can find out more about our services, such as miniature painting. We also do consignment. We also teach at local game stores. Be sure to check us out at MetalheadMinis.com. Thanks for having me. by viewers like you. Hey guys, it's Dave for Gamers on Games, and we are going to be doing for this episode a play-by-post game of Dust 1947. Because we're doing this as a play-by-post, uh, which is going to be a case of I'm hosting it and sending images of the board and using units that I possess to actually play this game, um, we are playing just a small introductory game. Today this will be uh, myself and my good friend Cappy. I will be playing, for, as a rare oddity, I will actually be playing Axis. I have a Ludwig, the Laser Grenadiers, and the... Uh, Sturm, uh, Recon Squ Sturm Grenadier Recon Squad. He is running a hot dog along with a Ranger uh, Weapon Squad and a Ranger Assault Squad. So this is going to be a pretty interesting little match and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, leave all your comments in the section below for those who are already going, hey what's going on with some of those uh, obstacles that you're using? Um, I ran out of obstacles, so I'm using a pair of obstacle tokens from um, one of the uh, starter sets. The rest of this is actually the old coffin box uh, made by uh, Fantasy Flight and AEG. The goal of this one is going to be very simple. This is just a straight up elimination kind of match. So whoever has um, whoever is eliminated first loses, really. And that's it. So we hope you guys enjoy, and uh, we will see you guys in the uh, the next piece. All right, so this is the end of round one, and as you can see, this is our final positions. The end of round one basically was just positioning. So we started off with me winning initiative, and on came my laser grenadiers right here with a force march. He brought on the hot dog, also with a force march, followed by, or excuse me, actually a regular move, followed by the Ludwig with its forced march. Uh, after the Ludwig, he brought on his weapon squad here. I brought on the recon squad here, and we have his assault squad over here. So that is our positioning at the end of round one. Alright, so here we are, end of round two. As you can see, the board is vastly different. So, what happened? Uh, well, you can see some units are gone. Uh, there is the Ludwig flipped over, and we will talk about that in a moment. And you can see casualties abound over here. So, how did the round start? Well, Cappy won initiative. Or, excuse me, I won initiative. Cappy was forced to go first. He decided to move up the hot dog and you can see what remains right there. He moved up. Laser Grenadiers decided to open fire and they put three damage on it but didn't stop it. In the process they wound up losing one of their own. Uh, because of that I then took my recon squad which you can see is completely destroyed and sitting over here. They decided to move up. They used their Panzerfaust and decided to finish the job. And that's when his uh, assault squad moved from here to here and uh, made short work 
of my recon squad again dead and over there. So, uh, I decided, you know what I'll do? I'll take my Ludwig, I'll move up, I'll pop smoke, and I'll open fire. He decided to wait out um, my incoming fire. My incoming fire was a complete whiff. Just nothing happened. And he said, oh, that's really nice. Oh, by the way, I have a bazooka and 300 barrel grenade launchers, the uh, good old-fashioned uglies, and decided to open fire with them. Well, one bazooka, three uglies later, uh, I have a very dead Ludwig. So, yeah, things are not looking really good for that, uh, that fully suppressed laser grenadier squad sitting over here. We're going to have to see what happens because pretty much I think initiative is the only thing that's going to save them. Uh, and at that point it's going to be a case of best they can hope for is to survive one extra round. So we will see what happens. My hope is I can win it and that I can, or win initiative, uh, come out of being suppressed and sustain fire into these guys over here and get some good rolls because those laser weapons have got to pull their weight. And uh, we will see you guys at the end of round three, and we'll see what happened. All right, so this is end game, and it ended pretty much as I predicted it would. Uh, Cappy, my opponent here, won initiative. He decided that his best course of action was for his assault squad right here to do a sustained fire action into my laser grenadier squad here and as you can see he thoroughly wiped them out 17 hits he scored and uh here let's take a quick look at my defense roll yeah not that good so congrats to cappy for his nice little win there uh it was a pretty thorough trouncing i started off strong but uh things just seemed to fall apart a little bit there so, another win for the Axis, or excuse me, another win for the Allies.